billion prayers have been answered. With the success of Chandrayaan-3 mission, India becomes the first country to land on Luna's south pole. Land of Vikram crosses the hurdle during the last critical 17 minutes before soft landing. India becomes the fourth country in the world to win in the moon mission. PM Narendra Modi virtually joined the ISRO team from Johannesburg. PM says, moon is not far away anymore, it is just a tour away. Friends, on this joyous occasion, I would like to address all the people of the world, the people of every country and region. India's successful moon mission is not just India's alone. This is a year in which the world is witnessing India's G20 presidency. Our approach of one earth, one family, one future is resonating across the globe. This human-centric approach that we present and that we represent has been Welcome universally. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. Therefore, this success belongs to all of humanity. And it will help moon missions by other countries in the future. I am confident that all countries in the world, including those from the global south, are capable of achieving such feats. We can all aspire for the moon and beyond. Of last so many years, Maybe for Chandrayaan 3, it's a work of last four years, but for Chandrayaan 2, that was a work of many years back. And uh, the learning that we got from Chandrayaan 2 of uh, our unsuccessful attempt to soft, soft land has really helped us in perfecting the, uh, the methodology and also to have large number of experiments plus to prove the process of landing. And it has paid dividends today. And we had a very soft landing and it actually achieved most of the nominal conditions for the landing, including the velocity of touchdown. In fact, I didn't get it exactly. Possibly my team will be able to tell them. Uh, the, ex the velocity was far less than 2 meters per second. It actually gives us a lot of confidence that the health of the craft will be very good. And we will be able to continue with the experiments, including the Pragyan rover coming out and then doing all the experiments. So we are looking for the very, very exciting 14 days from now uh, for Chandrayaan 3. And as Honorable Prime Minister has mentioned, it is not Chandrayaan-3 alone, it is for future scientific exploratory missions. This is the beginning of uh, a golden era. That's, that is a message I get from what our Prime Minister told. <clears throat> so we are looking for launch of Aditya L1 now next month and also the launches of many other science missions including the mission for the human space flight as well. So thanking each one of you for your support and I cannot tell you the type of uh, uh, that, that excitement that is created in the whole of India, every school child, every school, every village, every mohalla is excited by the shock, showcasing of this uh, landing videos and broadcast and all of their praying, having a lot of pujas and homas and other methods of prayers suitable for each one of them to, for the success of this mission. And I want to thank each one of you for your, your excitement, your love for the nation and for whatever we achieved today. It's for all dedicated to your, uh, yourself and for your courage and strength to support us. Thank you so much.